Welcome back everybody. How you guys girls doing today? I hope great. Well, today I'm going to do a video on GoPros and remote controls for GoPros. So, I recently I bought a GoPro 11, a couple of them, and I obviously have some old ones, right? So, and I've tried the older remotes that I have for previous versions. So I have a remote that I was using with GoPro 6 and 7 uh, and unfortunately I wasn't able to, to connect it to either GoPro 9 or 11. I don't have 10. Uh, so I went online, uh, done some research, looked it up and found this remote. Right, so this is not a GoPro remote. Um, this is a third-party remote, but the reason I bought it, it's slightly cheaper than, than GoPro remote, but the main reason I bought it is because according to the ad or instructions or description, um, it stated that it can control multiple cameras. So I got quite curious about it. I haven't tried it before. Uh, so the remote has arrived now, so it came, you know, obviously the remote as you can see it looks well similar to GoPro remotes uh, it came with a, a little strap for your hand which you put through here and um, it came with a charging cable so and it has a two pin uh, charging cable and apparently it's also you know the remote is waterproof and dust proof so what I want to do now is I have three GoPros in front of me one two and three right so i have two eleven and one nine what i want to do is try to pair all of them in one go to a remote and see how it works <coughs> excuse me i will be using instruction manual for this one because i've never done this before and i don't know what to expect so let's bring up the cameras the remote and the instruction and we'll get into it right so the instruction comes in two languages the good thing is there is one in english and it has an option uh, for multiple camera control right and it states in the remote uh, so uh, first of all we need to turn it on okay so remote is on so it says in the remote menu select options multicam on so i guess we go options uh, let me see how you scroll shadow can him indicate a screen shortcut up shortcut down so this is up and down okay uh, and then it says select options multicam on so we go into options and then confirm multicam uh, multicam and we will select it's currently off we will select on okay and we'll go back and we'll We'll go back. All right. So then it says um, put all cameras that need to be controlled into the pairing mode and wait for each uh, camera to be paired one one by one. So uh, let's turn on all the GoPros. Okay. Yep, they're all on. We'll all go into uh, settings and we'll put them into pairing mode. So, not general. So to do that, we'll just go into preference, uh, wireless connection, uh, connect device, and the remote. Okay, so this is one. We'll do the same on the on this one. Wireless connection, connect device, remote. So this is in a pairing mode, and uh, 
uh, we'll go into preferences completely forgot how to do this on the older GoPro it's been a while since I've been doing it uh, hold on connections yeah so I'm going to preference you go into connections connect device and the remote okay so as you can see all the cameras are now in the pairing mode so we'll get back to the remote okay and we'll go into setting and we'll select pair right okay so one camera successful second camera got connected and hopefully the third one will get connected and the third camera got connected that's actually been quite easy uh, I'll do this later okay so uh, so we now have three cameras connected to the remote right so we'll and it says press this key to finish okay and it's ready so let's see if it actually will set up manually uh, date what's the date 10 18. quickly I'm not sure why it got unsync but it's okay we'll go Days 18, 2022. Okay, and time it's come on, ten forty one. Set ten forty two AM. Okay. So now, as you can see, three cameras are connected to the remote. So let's see if we can uh, start the recording on all three cameras. So if we push record button, and as you can see, all, all three cameras are now recording. So we'll push the record button again. And they all stopped recording. So it's, it's actually quite cool. Um, what I wanna do next is to see if I can use this button to turn the cameras on and I'm not sure if I can so what we'll do is we'll power off all the cameras powering off come on powering off it still sa says connecting radio Ah, interesting it's actually powered back on the cameras okay so that that's an interesting feature uh, so you can't really power the cameras off while uh, the remote is connected hmm. but the question is what if you want to use only one camera so let's try again let's power this one off okay so it keeps coming back on that's a interesting feature okay um, I will have to look into it uh, you know clearly it's there should be a way to turn them off but if there is no way um, well that's that's a bit sad but it is what it is as long as you know 
it, it does working yeah and someone has started playing yep so the good the bad the ugly remote works you can connect multiple cameras the bad you can't turn the cameras off so um, in conclusion what can I say uh, will I use it yes what I want to try to see if I can manage and figure out a way to put the cameras at least into a standby mode because clearly uh, if they're always on um, they're gonna suck through the batteries the other thing is I can um, if I turn the remote off it's gonna ah here we go so it powered off all the cameras so by turning the remote off it powers off the cameras if I turn the remote on let's see if it powers back on the, all the cameras one two and hopefully third one will come online as well yep and the third one is online okay so that's solved simply by powering on the remote you turn on the cameras powering the remote back on the cameras can come on great very happy with the remote i i have to say uh will will definitely be <coughs> using it i will i'm going into the mountains over tomorrow for the next few days so i'll definitely play around with it and see how it performs and if i find any other cool features i'll do a video on it otherwise i'll put a description of the remote into into the, the link to the description i'm getting confused now I'll put the link to the remote which I bought into the description of the video and you know if you want one go ahead and get one this is definitely a worthwhile thing so thank you for watching if you like the video subscribe if you found it useful subscribe give us a like and we'll see you all next time have a great day